Identify yourself. I'm Detective Sergeant Patrick Rowe, Chairman Jamaica Police Federation. The, the Police Federation is really calling for the um, judiciary or the legislature to look at the um, capital punishment, capital crime provisions under the Offences Against People Act and seek to strongly enforce it in terms of um, or make amendments to ensure that mandatory sentencing for the attack on police officers or agents of the state or vulnerable groups of citizens within Jamaica um, to be met with strong punitive sanctions. We know and certainly over my policing career, I know that um, debt is not a strong deterrent for criminals in this country. Um, certainly in almost all the um, fatal interaction with members of the security forces where me our members are either shot and injured or shot and killed, um, we have repelled those attacks and have shot and killed the suspect in majority of those matters. And it has still not acted as sufficient deterrent to prevent their cronies or associate or colleague in crime to commit those same attacks on the police force. So we're not um, savagely sticking to a position of a death penalty, but we are saying that where criminals are caught having attacked the police or vulnerable citizens within this country, um, they should um, move with a level of certainty knowing that once they have made the decision to be engaged in such an offense, they will be guaranteed um, strong sentences in prison. We certainly know that they are not um, they are afraid of detention, but they are not afraid of death, and we are calling for strong detention, strong prison sentencing, certainly upward of 35 years um, for these offenses. And I believe that those um, sanctions, if um, taken on by the legislator, um, certainly with very little uh, um, leeway among judges um, in terms of discretionary judgment, um, the criminals will take heed and that will act as sufficient deterrent to reduce these levels of crime on members of the security force and on vulnerable groups in this country.